in the flesh, of course I'm fresh Court rep, golf my rep, forgive me more for less Marvelous, how they regard it, architect Always authoring the offerings that y'all respect Swim all through the cesspool, the sharks infest Unmarked except for the mark of success We harder than the hardest, hardest heart can get The beat just beating like the heart in your chest But if you were, you know, to mentor an MC um, What are three key things that, that you would like to instill in, in them as an as a up and coming, as an artist, but you know, and as a human being? Such a great way to phrase that question. Um, three things I would say first of all, that you have to figure, you have to know yourself, and you have to be comfortable enough with yourself to, um, to show the world who you really are. You have to really free yourself from needing people's approval which is so weird because that's what really being an artist is being an artist is really seeking approval um, and I don't care what anybody says that's what it's about and that's why failed artists are the most evil people in the world they really are the scariest people ever Hitler was a failed artist and when when you hear so many rappers talk about haters it really is a serious thing when somebody seeks um, acceptance through art and they get rejected what what follows that and what takes that that place and and, and, I'm, and I guarantee it's the same for every other artist that really is truly expressing what they are and being ex and set, accepted and embraced because that's what we all are trying to get but it's so much better to be embraced for who you really are than be embraced for what you think people want you to do and that's ultimately what people connect with the truth of whatever you're doing you know you can say whatever you want about any artist you want but if, but somebody that has staying power identifies some truth in themselves that wasn't being expressed before and and people gravitate towards that even if, it, if it's not identical to what they're going through that means something to people so you have to really identify what is it about you that makes you different and can you really make people feel that tangibly about you and your music? That's number one. You know, um, but do you find it difficult to balance production and, and writing? Or, you know, are you more passionate about one than you are the other? There's a good word you said in there, and that's striving. Um, I feel like that. I feel like the day I feel like I've mastered something, I should just quit. Like, and on all artists, I, I think that goes for whether you build houses or whether you write books or whatever you do, anything creative, you should always be striving to hit a new goal and reach a new plateau. Number two is that um, you have to be honest with yourself about your work ethic and what your star quality really is. Um, not everybody has the same gift and you can't covet other people's gifts. You have to really embrace your own gift, you know, so the appeal that I have is way different from the appeal that 50 has or that Michael Jackson had. And I can spend my life being mad at that difference or I can really embrace mine. I've chosen to embrace mine. And um, the second you feel like you've mastered something is when you watch the downfall happen. So. Um, within Dilated Peoples, I have the luxury of sharing songwriting with Rocker. I know I have to do one and a half verses or one solid verse. He usually writes a lot of the hooks. So with that, I could focus on production, which is why I did the majority of the platform or a lot of expansion team or the majority of 2020 because I'm sharing duties. But once I realized I started writing The Weatherman, I was like, fuck, I got to write three verses and the chorus. I gotta put my heart on the line and really not just write about current rap issues, but let people know who Michael is, not just evidence. I felt like, you know what, I have all these creative people around me like Alchemist, Khalil, Jake One, Babu, uh, Crisis, so many amazing people. Um, of course, Joey Chavez and, and Bravo, Sid Rums, that I was just like, I'd be a fool to put my ego on a pedestal and just say, I'm gonna make all the beats because I'm evidence and I'm capable. And um, I learned from people like Havoc, from Mob Deep, or certain people who are very capable of doing everything in their catalog, but said, I'm gonna let Pete Rock do one, or I'm gonna let Q-Tip do one, or I'm gonna let certain people come in and do work for us, and I'm gonna fall back and, and let my pen roll. I appreciate that kind of stuff. So it's never an ego issue with me. And the third thing 
um, is to always make the best, always make the best of everything. You know what I mean? Um, you know, always, no matter what the situation is, always make the best of it. Always do the extra work to to ensure that you are capitalizing on everything. Because you're gonna have years that are great, and you're gonna have years that are slower. But those years that are slower, you can really make the most of those, and those can teach you a lot. You know what I mean? And so it's important. I'm sorry, but it's important to, to take take everything and build, the, make it the best that it can be. You know what I mean? Yeah.